Hello and welcome to La Brea Tar Pit. I am your host today, Cesar Vera. Behind me sits the La Brea Tar Pit. Breathe it in, it smells like tar. Now let me tell you what tar is. Tar is oil from millions of years ago, billions of years ago, that has been sitting under the earth and pressurized by all the pressure of the earth. And it finally comes up through the surfaces, as how you see right here, through the bubbly. It channels every all the energy from the earth up the bubbles, and there you have the tar. Now, tar is made out of extinct animals, plants, and such and such. The oil here has been sitting here for millions of years, billions of years, and as it decomposes, all the oil comes up, and as it bubbles, you see that right there? You see that right there? Is it in the camera? As you just saw, the tar has just boiled up. It has bubbled up immensely. That means a lot of pressure is under the earth as all the tectonic plates have convergent plates. And as you see, that's what happens when plates collide. And oil comes up through the earth's surface. And this is just one of many tar pits in the California area. Although this is the most important for it has, you guys see that? <laughs> now let me take you through more of the tour of the Libra Tarpet. And as I said, millions of years ago, millions of years ago, there were animals, mammoths who would roam the plains. And as they would think this is water, I would think this is water. If I were a mammoth, I'd, I'd go in here and take a drink. But this is actually tar. Once a mammoth is in here, there's no going back. They're left to die. Really? <laughs> These tar pits have trapped LA's plants and animals for thousands of years. We still dig in this pit to find the fossils they preserve. These digs turn up new fossils and surprise us with daily surprises and new discoveries. How about that? The Tar Pit Museum houses the world's largest Ice Age fossil collection. This collection reveals what survived the last, the last Ice Age and what did not. Ongoing research can be important news about LA's we moved it on. Buried oil makes great goop. This lake is actually a pit left over from asphalt mining operations in the late 1800s. At that time, La Brea Tar was mined to seal roofs and roads. The pit has since collected rain and groundwater, creating this small lake. The lake's bubbles, sheen, and stink come from a deep underground oil field. This buried layer of oil also produces gooey patches of tar on the ground. It all started millions of years ago when the area we know of today as Los Angeles was submerged underwater. Marine life and sediments accumulated on the ocean floor and eventually the pressure converted the organism's remains into fossil fuels and oil. Once the ocean receded, that petroleum started seeping its way to the surface, all beginning about 40,000 years ago. The La Brea tar pits continue to rise because crevices beneath the earth allow oil to seep to the surface and that causes the geology of this area allowing oil beneath the tar pits to continue to bubble and surface. The earth as a body. The geology of La Brea tar pits shows us that deep underground liquids and materials can seep to the surface over time. The earth is in constant motion and just like humans, the earth has veins that pump liquids in and out of the earth itself. Crevices form, plates converge, faults occur, and oil, the earth's blood, is able to pump through rock and onto the surface. The earth's oil and gas reservoirs are located at about 3,048 meters beneath the earth's surface, and at that depth, oil is still able to seep onto the earth's surface. When a tectonic plate converges, this can create crevices that let certain liquids or materials rise and surface. These liquids or materials are able to rise against gravity by the stored energy from being deep in the earth under pressure. Stored energy such as gases and steams are able to rise just like the carbon gas from soda rises under pressure when released by removing the cap off a bottle of soda. This explains how tar from tar pits rises and surfaces as well, but at a much slower pace. It can take over 50,000 years for tar to develop 
into huge pits. Will humans ever live long enough to see La Brea Tar Pits gone? Perhaps not, considering that this area has been active for over 50,000 years. Life in Los Angeles was somewhat cooler and moister 40,000 years ago than it is today. Many of the plants and animals found in La Brea are identical with species that still live in the area or that would be living in the area had Los Angeles not gotten in the way. In the end, Earth's new oil fields will flourish towards the surface along with new species that will one day reign again.